Hey. Good afternoon. I I try not to wake you up, but I guess you've been with me for so long that you're basically used to me, aren't you, huh? There's nothing I love more than watching you sleep. It, it really, really warms my heart seeing you all cozy in bed. You seem so comfortable and perfect. I just, I love admiring you. And I love the thought that no one gets to see you like this. It, it makes me really happy. You have absolutely no idea. You like, you're all mine. And that is all I ever wanted. I just, I, I wanted to thank you for getting me out of that hell because I hated everyone. It was just piles of absolutely garbage people walking around. I'm reminded sometimes of how some people confess to me. It still leaves a bad taste in my mouth. How they could possibly think that I would ever have feelings for people as low as them. But of course, you have to play pretend. You can't just tell them straight that they could just jump down a well and nobody would care. Oh, I wish. Trust me, I wished it for so long. I put out an act so that nobody would get in my way. And no one would think suspiciously of me. Or anything like that. I'll never understand what they found attractive about me. Maybe some some boys are just into mysterious types, but it doesn't matter. Cause you're the only thing that matters in this world. And I know that the first couple of weeks were rough. So you were confused and you didn't know what you were saying. And I forgive you entirely, of course, for saying that you hated me or wishing that I would die and all that. But you got over it. it. Took you a long time, but finally, I've opened your eyes, right? You have no idea how good it feels to hear your voice. I felt... I felt really, really lonely when you wouldn't answer anything I'd ask you. Well, you just didn't talk to me at all, but it doesn't matter anymore. Not in the slightest. I, I totally got over it. Because now you're talking to me, and that's great. Because a kind of cellmate doesn't answer their girlfriend. When she asks you if you're hungry, or if you love her back, but that is far, that's far behind us, isn't it? Can you believe it's been a whole year since I've taken you to our love nest? A whole year since I started taking care of you. It really feels so good knowing that I've done such a perfect job. And lucky you, this is like heaven for you, right? I can tell by your perfect smile. You don't need to say anything. And don't ever forget that there is no one out there that knows you better than I do. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty scared at some point about the worst scenario of you not liking me at all. Or thinking of me as a monster. It was really painful at some points, but of course, it's no longer like that. You finally, you finally realized that I'm the best girlfriend you could ever have. I mean, I, I would do anything for you. I would do anything that you want, really, as long as the reward is your happiness. And that we could stay together forever. I can 
I can get a little salty sometimes, of course. I'm aware that I, I killed that girl that really liked you after all. I, I already forgot her name, but that's in the past. I still smirk when I think of how pathetic she was, thinking that she could stop me from taking you away. What a loser. She deserved it. I don't miss anyone. Not in the slightest. None of your classmates or teachers. Well, of course, my family, but whatever. It's not like I would invite them at our wedding. They, they betray me. Then try to make me believe that the love I have for you is all made up. That there was something wrong with me. It's, it, it's all lies. Just, they, they just don't understand anything of how devoted I am. I mean, when I, when I touch your face like this, I think how soft it is and how I want to always look into your gorgeous eyes. It reminds me that everything I've done so far was absolutely worth it. Every single thing. I never want to let go of you. I know that it's probably just cheesy stuff you've heard in romantic movies or something, but I, I really mean it. I can hear the sound of your heartbeat. It always beats faster when I talk to you like this. Yet, it's still completely different from before. When you were here at first and you were scared of me. I never understood why. Was it because you can't believe how perfect I am for you? Well, it doesn't really matter anymore because... Now, everything is exactly how I dreamed of. Can you believe I look completely different from a year ago? I, I dye my hair. I still wear colored contacts all for you. Because I know exactly what type of girls you're into. But, you know I have no regrets because we're here together. And... Tell me, you're, you're happy to be here, right? Because you can never be unhappy. That's not, that's not something that you could possibly feel. If you need me to change, just don't hesitate to let me know. Because I'll change anything about myself for you, really. I'm perfect the way I am right now. If you really mean it when you're saying that everything is perfect, then I have no worries. Can you believe how you tried to run away before? Or that you tried to hurt me? Or when you pretended to be in love with me to get my trust? I remember everything and it still hurts a bit thinking about it. It's almost like you never liked me to begin with, no matter what I did. But now everything's changed and I'm just so happy to have you here with me. And we can live happily in this little bubble of ours where we're madly in love with each other. And then we're gonna get married and we're gonna have kids. I am so looking forward to having kids of yours. I don't know, I just, I feel like opening up to you about how I feel, but I'm sure you understand and you get me, right? Unfortunately enough, we're, we're kind of running out of food supplies after a whole year, isn't that crazy? Hey, don't, don't worry about it, I'm, I'm sure everyone has forgotten about us already, after all we... We ran so far away. 
they must have given up, right? I think we'll have to change our names and everything if we ever want to go outside together. But uh, I don't know that I could ever let you go outside. There's so many people out there and I can never take the risk of losing you out there or you could get hurt or even worse, you could meet another girl. So I'm sure you understand where I'm coming from, right? After all, it's not like you can go anywhere when you still have handcuffs, right, my dearest? Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry about that, I really am, but I've told you my reason, but I'll make it up to you, I promise. Don't worry about it. Well, to be quite honest with you, I don't think I'll ever remove them. I just, I feel safer knowing that you have them on. And it doesn't bother you, right, that you haven't seen the sunlight in over five months. Well, you're not really missing out on anything after all. I really feel like you don't really know how much I love you. Oh, ah, uh, would you look at the time? It's almost time for dinner. And since tonight is a wonderful anniversary, I'll make you your favorite meal. What do you say, huh? Aren't you adorable? I'll put all my heart into it, I promise. It's the best food you'll ever have. I just... I just want to look at you very closely. Yeah, just like this. It's kind of dumb, but... It's my favorite thing to do. I hope you don't mind the feel of... Your breath against my face. The way... You can't look away. It's perfect. Ah, oh, um, I'm sorry. It must be annoying for you to hear over and over, but I, I really can't help it. I wish I could let go, but I just want to thank you for being there for me, for existing and being, being such a wonderful boyfriend. I can never ask for a better boyfriend. I, I have to control myself, otherwise we won't make it to dinner and we'll stay here for an entire hour rambling about stuff. But well, I'll go start making dinner for you, my precious love. You must be very hungry, but you can rest now for a bit. Let me fill you one last time. something to make you feel better. I won't take too long. You wait for me here, okay? I love you. <laughs>